What is up? It is another beautiful morning here in northern Idaho and today we want to take you through a little bit different subject than what we have done in our previous videos. So what we're going to be doing today is giving you a little bit of a behind the scenes look of what happens when we are trying to capture product photography. We vibe it under the city lights Wherever the wind go take us If it's good we make it contagious And we vibe it Laying on black sand beaches Crisp 40 something degrees outside right now feels really nice in the sun all right so i just saw the craziest thing we spotted an otter out in the river it ended up having a fish in its mouth and then it ditched the fish because it saw this big bad boy let's see right there swoop down and it grabbed its fish and then it took off that way and i think it enjoyed its little morning breakfast for a moment and then it just flew right back to its little perch bush eagle oh he just oh there it goes oh, that's awesome it is amazing what you see when you get up early and head out into wilderness so product photography is actually a more recent style that i've dived into well what's so great about it is that it kind of pushes you to be a little bit more creative with uh, your current environment. Whether that means you know, you're shooting in your bedroom, uh, just outside your house. Even if you're not shooting in a uh, professional studio, you can still make an amazing photo. All you gotta do is be a little bit creative. However, today we're taking our product photography a little bit further and we're taking our photos in the great outdoors. So we figured, why don't we show you the start to finish process of what it's like capturing our photos that you see on our websites, social campaigns, and social media accounts. All right, let's go. If you see right down there, there is a wild Hayden in his natural habitat. He may look like he's just fumbling around like a dumbfounded fool, but truly, the intelligence of this creature is quite astounding. Whether he shows his intelligence his entire life or not, it is uncertain. But we know from the history books, yes, this is a very intelligent creature indeed. All right, I think it's time that we head out. <laughs> yep, get in, loser. We're going shopping! Woo! <laughs> Hayden, where we, are we? We made it to the trail. Woo. We're gonna head on down, see if we can get some sick shots. Let's go. <laughs> oh no, it's blocked off. We can't go. Well, better turn back. Okay, well. Still didn't work. Let's do it. <laughs> I still didn't get it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the purpose of this was. Out here in the bush, anything can happen. We gotta be prepared. You stretching in case you see a bear and you gotta run or something? I'm gonna stretch and I'm gonna kill it with my looks. You could definitely succeed with those looks. <laughs> so one thing I like to keep in mind when I am shooting photos for product photography is what kind of vibe do I want to kind of portray with the photos. When Josiah's taking photos, I'm trying to convey what am I doing? <laughs> so one thing that helps me kind of achieve or at least get some sort of direction to what vibe I am uh, wanting to create with the product photos is props. They can help kind of direct your story. When you're in like a studio setting or a controlled environment, uh, a really good way to do this is like go to antique shops or any little store that sells little tchotchkes or something like that, that you can uh, use these little devices to tell a story. But out here, what you can do is use just the things that you find. Okay, obviously we're in an outdoor environment, so I like to use the things that are actually gonna be in that environment, like pine cones. Yeah, maybe even some like cool textures, a little fungus. Turkey tail maybe. Yeah, growing on the tree. Props, it's one thing that can really help with driving a story 
behind a product photo. Well, shoot fire! <laughs> What'd you find? Tiny little tree balls. Little mushrooms. Used to this. Yeah. I don't know how my wife would feel though. I don't know, I think you can make it work, you and your family. Put Katana over here. Yeah, right in that corner. Sweet. Daughter's corner, wife's corner, husband yeah, sleeps right there. That's like a one bedroom apartment, like $2,000 in New York City. Yeah, for sure. All right, hit us up for offers, no low balls. We know what we got. No low balls, we know what we got. <laughs> All right, we are getting close. There's just one of the many water sources coming out of this area. You can start to, other than this creek here, as we progress through the hike, we can start to hear like that little hum of the waterfall. There's a waterfall at the end of the hike. Uh-oh, what'd you find? It takes us like two times as long to get to our location because Hayden keeps walking off trail. But for good reason, I don't know what that is. Ooh, tree balls. <laughs> Anybody know what that is? Comment down below. I have no idea. Help me out. All right. We are finally close to the waterfall. Wow. The sun is breaking through like perfectly. I've been to this waterfall like I don't know how many times. It's like a childhood spot, but every time I come here, I always get excited. Hayden's never been here, and you've lived here how long? Five years now. Five years. Five years. Five years. So, his first time being in this location. Uh, what do you think? Dude, this is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. We aren't even at the best spot yet, so let's go to the best spot where you can get a full view of the waterfall. This is absolutely gorgeous over here. It's just ridiculous. Okay, how cool is that? I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. This is just beautiful. Okay, we're gonna adventure around a little bit. Just take some time to explore, and then we're gonna start setting up for some uh, product photos. But we're trying it. Okay. The rocks are really, really slick, but totally worth the view, right? As careful as careful can be. Let's see if I can fall here.
So I had to escape the waterfall a little bit so you could actually hear them. So first off, when you're doing product photography, you want to have your photo tell a story. So typically you want your product photos to look really clean, but in our case, it's a little bit more unique. We're out in the outdoors, we're in a rug. So in our case, we want our products to look loved and well used. We're gonna go back down to the waterfall. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm gonna walk you through a couple of steps that I keep in mind as I am uh, taking my product photos. Okay, I'm making my way back down to the waterfall right now, and I have no idea where Hayden went. I saw him grab uh, our secondary camera and he just bounced. So he's probably getting some footage somewhere of something. I have no idea what. I'm gonna go on a little trail, see what I can find. It's really cool up here. It's also really awesome is that only Josiah and I are out here. Really, there's one other person, but they're kind of sticking to themselves. All right, well, I've gone far enough. Let's uh, head back to Josiah and maybe get some lunch. I'm really starting to get hungry here. Let's see if I can get down there without falling on my butt. All right, so Hayden was adventuring around. Turns out he might have found a little bit more sound friendly spot just above the waterfall uh, where we can kind of take you through this little tutorial. Let's go. Lead the way, Captain. It's a little bit of a jaunt uphill though. Oh, last All right. Found a cool little spot here. It is uh, pretty much a little green pad for us to hang out on. So, that right there is where the waterfall begins. And Hayden is on a little overhang just over the waterfall. I gotta check that out. All right, we made it to our little location here by a little creek kind of up from the waterfall upstream. We had to do a little bit of hiking. Found a little spot that I want to take some photos. Hayden's just, uh, Hayden's playing with his wiener. All right, now that I've got my hexes over here, I want to start building out my scene or my shot. I'll stage them up a little bit and I'll show you a couple different ways that you can go about this. Okay, so. We've got our first little shot all dressed up. Uh, just a single hexa. Whoa, that's close on my face. Woo, that was really close. So this is what it looks like when he's getting some photos and some video. Right now he's just setting the stage. Give you a little look at him. All right, so I am Allowed to hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never like those. She saw the stone, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that call. This is a little bit more on the basic side. Again, nothing wrong with it. Matter of fact, there are times where you're gonna want to have less in the photo, make it less busy, focus more just on the product itself. But we can turn things up a little bit and uh, start adding in our props. I brought my knife here. I'm gonna throw that in. Yeah, I'm gonna throw in one of our duck wax canvas bags here. Uh, let's see, brought one of our little bins. This is just something I picked up on the, uh, you know, on the trail. Might be able to use it as a little bit of texture. So let's see how that looks. So, all right, so I ended up putting some of the uh, little bark pieces inside our stoker bag. So it looks like we've been foraging for first tinder. So rather than just a ferro rod, which kind of tells a story in itself, now we have some supporting props. Good times, live in the moment, feel like summertime. Obviously I could dress up our little scene a little bit more if I wanted to take more time. However, you kind of get the idea what took me 10 extra seconds to set up a little bit of a scene. We have a little bit more to tell with the photo. 
Now we're gonna talk about the last point that I wanna make. This last technique I wanna show you is super simple. Actually taking photos with the product in use. I'm gonna have Hayden here. Howdy. So we're gonna get Hayden to use the ferro rod. See if we can capture those really juicy sparks that everybody loves to see. Let's make some action. So those are just a couple of my little tips or tricks that I like to think about or keep in mind while I'm shooting photos for specific products. But just remember that you can't follow every rule or every little detail that someone uh, tells you. At the end of the day, what it boils down to is what you think looks good because that's what makes a photo, is you, the artist. Just make sure that you have fun with it. You just apply that secret sauce to each one of your photos. All right, so you gotta remember that photography is an art, an art is subjective. It's influenced by your personal feelings, your experiences, and your ideals. So what you find visually attractive might be different than what I find visually appealing. And that's okay. That's what makes art beautiful. I hope you liked the video! Like and subscribe, uh, comment down below. Thanks for joining us, guys. Woo! Done this once or twice before, boy. I tell you what. Yeah. That was sure. actually I know really it good. Was. I, keep, I forgot it again. Heck. I hate doing the outro. It's all good. We really appreciate you checking us out. We hope that you enjoyed the the background look of what happened today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Checking out the bat. What happens in the in the background? <laughs> now yeah. I feel uncomfortable. Ooh. Deer scat. Ooh, more. Wow. All right.